on a beautiful Saturday afternoon in central Illinois. It's Illinois State with one of the top defenses in the country, trying to slow down one of the top offenses in the country with South Dakota. Welcome into Hancock Stadium. I'm Kurt Pegler alongside former Illinois State All-American Chris Hyland. And Chris, you may not have to look any further than the quarterback play to figure out the biggest key to today's game. Well, you're right. Jake Colby has struggled the last couple of games, and the Redbirds have lost two straight. And they're going to face Chris Strebler, who's one of the best quarterbacks in the country. Should be a really fun one today, Kurt. More about that matchup coming up. It's Illinois State and South Dakota, and it's up next on NBC Sports Chicago. Third and five, and out of the gun, Colby's got some time over the middle. He's got his receiver, and he's got a man right down the middle. This is a big play for Spencer Schnell. He's going to take it to the end zone. No flags. Touchdown, Illinois State. They've got the South Dakota Coyotes on the ropes early. Illinois State up 6 nothing. just a few plays into the game. <laughs> you see Spencer Schnell running away from the defenders. Colby with time over the middle. Cash Schnell again. His second touchdown reception of the afternoon. He does not miss that time. It's a bullet to Spencer Schnell. It'll be about a 47 yarder. The snap is good, the hold is good, and the kick is good. And he's got all kinds of time back there. He goes over the middle, and Alec Coker interception, Illinois State. Colby steps up to pass over the middle, has a target. It's a first down catch and still on his feet. This is Schnell again. And Schnell's got a foot race. Williamson finally slows him down inside the 20 yard line. I'm sorry, Adam Harris it was. That's a 70 yard catch. What an afternoon for Spencer Schnell. Spencer Schnell has been the go-to target all afternoon for Jake Colby. He steps up in the pocket and throws another strike. He's made the catch part pretty easy for Schnell. Five catches for 155, and now this is going to be James Robinson. Touchdown, Redbirds. Just like that, two big plays, and Illinois State finds the end zone again. And a fresh set of downs for the Illinois State offense, first and 10. And Colby throwing for Schnell, who comes down with it. Is he inbounds or not? They're saying that's a catch. Spencer Schnell with an acrobatic play. Well, now the officials are, yes, indeed, they're going to mark it inbounds at the South Dakota 16-yard line. That is a terrific catch. What a catch by Spencer Schnell, and what confidence. Yep, he definitely gets the toe in. What confidence by Jake Colby to throw it up to Spencer Schnell, who is having himself a career afternoon. Fourth down play. Strebler over the middle. It's knocked down, incomplete, and the Redbird defense comes up with a fourth down stop. Look at that sideline. They get the call again, and he's got a big hole. James Robinson. There are no flags down, and James Robinson is in the end zone. A gigantic touchdown for the Redbirds. Trebler is going to screen it out. That's Frederick who's going to be stopped at the 20-yard line, and that is the final play of an impressive Illinois State win. The Redbirds jumped out to a 14-0 lead. South Dakota tied the game at 14-all, and then the Redbirds only gave up seven points the rest of the game. They outscored the Coyotes 23-7 to close the game. Great performance for Brock Speck's team.